Thanks to Sennheiser and Kingston for powering our NAB coverage this year. Check them both out at the links in the video description. It's not often that a camera support company really grabs my attention from the rest in the same way Edelkrone has this year at NAB. So let's take a look at what they had to offer. Starting off with their product that caught my eye the most, the Edelkrone Jib Plus add-on to small camera cranes. Now you might be thinking, Brandon, jibs are difficult and complicated to set up and use, especially for someone just starting out. And while I typically agree with this point, the Jib Plus aims to make operating a jib exceptionally easy. The system is made up of three main components, the controller, the sensor module, and the 2-axis camera head with an integrated focus motor. Edelkrone designed this system for basically anyone to just pick up and start shooting. Essentially what you do is to first manually aim the camera at your subject and set your first target point. Then you move the entire jib arm to a drastically different location and manually aim the camera at your subject again and set your second target point. Once you have those two points set, it can then figure out the entire 3D space around your subject, allowing you to move the jib wherever you'd like while the head automatically adjusts pan, tilt, and focus to perfectly hold your subject's position in the frame. If the focus is not correct, you can manually adjust it using the controller, allowing the unit to learn the necessary focus points and pull focus for you throughout your move, freeing you from the daunting task of both operating the jib and automatically pulling focus simultaneously. To be clear, this is not using any form of in-camera autofocus, the camera is set to manual focus, leaving all the focus pulling to the jib's two-axis head. Moving on to Edelkrone's new Stand Plus, which is a friction-based camera stand that allows you to easily set your camera at various heights, quickly. The system is not made to make pans or tilts, but to very quickly get static or overhead shots of your subject with ease. I see the Stand Plus being very useful for product shots like demonstrating features of a smartphone or for getting wide static landscape shots with the flexibility to get different perspectives without fiddling with tripod legs. You are able to adjust the friction of each joint to fit your needs for both the amount of force you want to put on and the camera's weight. The Stand Plus folds up fairly compactly and includes three wheels for easy movement, great for studio situations just like we have back at the office. The last product from Edelcone that we saw was a product they're calling the Povi, which aims to make shooting your point of view super easy with a smartphone. You simply attach the included adhesive magnet to the back of your smartphone and stick it to the Povi, giving you this really interesting first person perspective to whatever you might be doing. I could see this being an interesting tool for live streaming while keeping your hands free to continue working on whatever you want to share, whether it's showing a relative what you're cooking for dinner that evening, or using Periscope to work on a DIY project. The Povi also allows Tilt to change the camera's position to find what best suits your situation, a simple but very nice touch. Thanks again to Sennheiser for sending us here to NAB this year. Make sure to check out all of their new stuff for NAB at the link in the video description. Also thanks to Kingston for sending us here this year. Check out their brand new super fast micro SD card made for action cameras like the GoPro, also linked in the video description. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these three very simple pieces of gear and how you might use them personally. And for all the rest of our NAB 2016 coverage, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.